Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Talking Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between AVV and Vibe on Honor Grounds, the latter edition. In the top left side of the map, we have the Red Terran player Av. -v 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 or is it Avava? Hmm, only one A, so no A. And in the top right side of the map, we have his opponent. It is the Blue Zerg player, Vibe. All right, Vibe from Root Gaming going up against a Red Terran player of the GM Persuasion. Oh, the Persuasion implies there's really no choice involved, right? So GM choice? <laughs> Basically, this guy chose to work really hard and get into the GM ladder, which is exceptionally hard to do for those of you who have tried. You can get stuck at Diamond or Master level. And never get into GM in your entire life, which is very, very sad. Hatch first, out of Vibe. I'm going to assume it's an Extractor next. Come on, Vibe, prove me right with my prediction. Come on, he's no, he's going to go pool. Look at him saving up for a pool up there. Saving for a pool like a pool. And there it is, spawning pool. Does not want speed on his links too early, so we'll see. Is this actually, it's a Command Center first out of Av. Holy shamoly, Command Center, well, again... I always say that, Command Center first, but there's a Supply Depot first, you don't get Supply Blocked. Uh, yeah, Supply Depot first, into Command Center, into Barracks, into Zero Refineries for Av. Holy smokes, and a second Barracks on the way, a two Barracks opening with a fast expand. This is an interesting build. Very interested to see what this is all about from Av. Overlord moving across the map from the top right to the top left very slowly, as slow overlords are often wont to do. There he goes. I, I've always assumed... You know what? You know what, I've always assumed that the big spots here are eyes on the Overlord, but they're not. Look, the head... Hang on a second. Mm, let's do that follow. Let's do this twist. Yeah, see that head there that's kind of hanging down off the front with the antenna on the top that are twitching? The eyes are on the sides of that thing. And this... It doesn't make any sense to me, though. I've just seen these big blue spots as eyes for so long that I can't really see them any other way. Well, I'm going to forget about that for the time being. Uh, what else do we have going on here? The hatchery for Vibe is complete. He's making queens there. Well, a queen there and a queen at his main base as well. Sloverlord moving down to the south. SCV scouting from Av. I'm liking this. I like this a lot. He does see there's an expansion from Vibe, which is not a surprise. But if it was a one base attack, he'd probably be in a little bit of trouble. And the SCV dies to get that information back to Av. Is this a three racks marine push? What is this? Either way, the Sloverlord's in a ton of trouble here. Three Marines killing it. I mean, they might be able to get it here. Yeah, they're going to. Three Marines, yes. One Marine, no. One early Marine. That Overlord would have lived and not supply blocked Vibe as it did. But instead, a lot of Marines out, which tells Vibe, I gotta make some units here. That's a lot of Marines out. A Roach Warren would be good. Evolution ch Double Evolution Chamber instead out of Vibe. All right, so he assumes nothing early coming out of these Marines. I, if these Marines pushed across the map and just kept reinforcements going, I don't know what Vibe would do. Do. Uh, I guess these lings would get that information out before the marines got too far. He could make some lings. He could get some speed, which he doesn't have. What are you doing, Vi? What upgrades will you get for these evolution chambers, you madman? Getting plus one ground carapace and plus one melee attack. So he's getting melee attack, but no speed for his lings. I am at a complete loss with what both of these players are doing. I have not seen this level of experimentation on the GM ladder for a while. Honestly, Supply Depot on the way. Uh, marine count getting pretty high for Av here. He's got 10 of them. He's making another one just finished up. No more on the way after this, though. He feels pretty happy with his... Is that 11? Nope, 10. 10 Marines, period. Uh, getting a tech lab on a barracks there. What did somebody want me to call these instead of barracks? Call them bear... Something... I don't know. The answer is pretty much no. I'm not going to remember to call barracks anything other than barracks. It's kind of what's in my head right now. So... Av is prepared for some kind of a giant attack from Vibe, which is just not coming. A third hatch is on the way from him. He has exactly two lings on the field. That is it. He's getting speed now, which is super delayed, but he hasn't really needed it. The Terran player brought zero Reapers across the field. He's making Marines and just kind of hanging out with them inside his main base. Well, there's a the third base there. Factory now on the way for our Terran player, Av. And Overlord's in good places to see if there are drops on the way from any direction out of Vibe. I'm liking this very much. Good placement from Overlord's. Make note of this, Zerg players. You want to do this for sure. Yes, if a Viking comes along, you might be in some trouble. But we don't see that as much as I would expect us to. As, I don't know, a single Viking clearing out Overlord's really helps your drop play if that's what you're doing. Although Av, considering how late this factory is, I just don't see it. <coughs> 
Ah, tried to mute there, couldn't quite get it. Since the mute button doesn't work, which is annoying. Starport there coming up for Av RIP headphone users, huh? 20 lings on the way. Bane lings, nest on the way. And again, there these are these are the hazards of allowing a Zerg player to just macro up as hard as he can. I mean, he only has 35 workers, which I'm surprised about, considering Av has 45. But he's making tunnelings. Plus one, plus one, just finished. His baneling nest is done. Does he have a... Oh, he does not have a lair. But lings are moving out here. Yeah, they're moving across the map. They have definitely some purpose in mind here, but there are a lot of marines. 24 marines. They're gonna have stim. Marine holding that Zonlig watchtower near his base sees the hundred lings showing up and says, uh, wall off, wall off, and they do. There's a wall here and a bunker at the top of the wall. I mean, maybe a baneling bust. A baneling bust here from Vibe would be pretty good. He does have the baneling nest, although zero banelings at the moment. I don't see any. Uh, again, no lair either. We're at six minutes into this game and he has no lair. Is he going to win this thing on hatch technology against a Terran? I just don't see it. Although, on the other hand, Av is doing some weird stuff. Is he finally making medivacs? He's finally making medivacs. He's got a widow mine on the way. He's making a third command center now. He's got 48 harvesters compared to the 35 of Vibe. Vibe is getting burrow. Perhaps for some burrow mine... Burrow, burrow mine. Burrow baneling action? I don't know, but here comes a drop from Av. So it's... I mean, it just seems like a really inefficient double medevac full marine drop. Usually you can get it rid of that around five, five and a half minutes, but Av is doing that at 6.37, almost seven minutes by the time they arrive. But this natural base is in a lot of trouble for Vibe right now. All the drones are forced to evacuate. A queen dies there as well. Overlord dead. Another queen running for her life and does stand in there and die. A million links show up, and that's the cue to pick up and get out. Get out there. And that was interesting. It was delayed, but it did better because I think it was delayed. There were queens waiting for that five-minute drop. Did you see those earlier sitting here at the natural base? There were, like, what, six queens waiting for that to happen, but the drop didn't come. They moved off to do other things, and then that drop was way more effective. Interestingly enough here, trying to drop outside. Uh, no, just not going to happen. Av getting surrounded by a million zerglings. Can't really drop there. Might as well go all the way back home at this point in time. Fourth base on the way from Vibe. How Av... I don't know, like a six and a half, seven minute drop and then a follow up of what? Just a hundred Marines, 10 Banelings in production for Vibes. We're gonna try to Baneling bust, I guess, at seven and a half minutes, which again, seems fairly late. Uh, fairly, fairly late in indeed. What am I coming in again for the Terran player? And here, moving on out to meet these, oh, meet these Lings. Baneling bump, oh no! Massive Baneling hit there. Widowmine does kill a bunch. Two Widowmines killing a ton of these Lings. So tit for tat there. Seven, five, and 11 kills on these three Widowmines. But those Baneling explosions, those Baneling hits were massive. Marine count is all the way down to six. To six after that. All right. Uh, always scan when you move out, I guess. There's the scan. And he sees the Lings and he sees one of the Burrow Banelings over here by the Zellnog Watchtower. That was amazing. That was some big time stuff here. Morlings coming in. A bunch of queens waltzing across the map here. Not even bothering really to spread the creep. I mean, trying to spread the creep, but not waiting for it before they move across. Marines at the Zalnaga Watchtower. There are four Banelings just out of range where if they exploded, they would do some damage. Third base has landed for Av. Got herself some mules tossed down there as well. And Marines mar walking on top of the Banelings. And do they want them? I don't know if they want to explode. Well, the rest of the army's there. There we go. Ho <laughs> ho Baneling hits, Widowmines firing, and the Lings coming in after. Good control there by Vibe, allowing only a couple of the Lings to die. Big time hit there again, though. Widowmines continuing to just be super cost effective. They are dying as the Overseer is assisting with that. What do we got? 87 dead Lings for 49 dead Marines. That's probably a fair trade for Vibe at this point. Fourth base is done. Fifth base coming way down here to the south. South middle ish, like what the bottom right player would use as a, like a fourth base. So we're looking at there from Vive creep spread continuing. The queens are here, all six of them spreading creep across the map towards the Terran player. Terran player needs, I, I want to say some tanks. Some tanks would be nice against all of these Zerglings. Uh, extra medevacs are always useful. More Widow Mines, I guess they're pretty much what's keeping the Terran player alive right now. There are those Widow Mines and their delicious, delicious hits for you Terran fans out there. Three Widow Mines at the front of this third base for Av on the low ground. Another drop attempt here out of Av. Uh, 330 APM for the Terran player, 386. For Vibe, just looking uh, pretty pretty fast play, although it seems kind of deliberate. Dropping in the natural base again. 
is Av. These Marines have plus one, plus one, and Stim and Combat Shield. They might just take down this natural base. A few Lings here to defend, but not enough. More Lings coming in. Plus one, plus one done on these dudes. But depending on the positioning, this might work out pretty well for Av. And no. No, not enough. Force to pick up and boost out of there after several Marines do get eaten alive. Two Medivac healing may not be enough. Vibe says enough drops. Enough drops. I'm making six Spore Crawlers on the left edge of my natural base. Dropping here at the third base, though. Slow Banelings coming in. That's enough to force a lift off as well. Banelings speed not quite done there for Vibe, but did plus two, plus two just finish? It did. Plus two, plus two is done. Out of Vibe. More Banelings coming in. And he's at 70 harvesters now, Vibe is at. Uh, trying to drop here the natural base again, but the ooh, medivacs just get eaten alive by the spore crawlers. Marines and marauders are left without a home, and the lings that come in here are going to be a lot more effective all because of it. Again, medivacs are the force multiplier for Terran, and this would not have happened. I don't think Vibe cleans this up with this many zerglings, except for the fact that the medivacs are gone. A bit of a blind drop there from Av. Last time I was here, he says, I didn't... Oh, Widow Mind Fire killing actually a medevac there. Another big Widow Mind Fire at the third base. Banelings are rolling on and so many dead Banelings. These Widow Mines. Oh, holy smokes. Rolling into the main base though. The Banelings trying to hit on something. I don't know what the Lings running around. Oh, is that Burrow Baneling? What just exploded there? Hold on. Hold on. I know some of you don't like this. Sorry. All right, so Woodamine's getting some massive hits on these bailings. Wah bam! Big old green explosions there. Woodamine's coming up here. No more Woodamines to save the day. Getting oh, good focus firing though. And does he? Oh, he does burrow two on the ramp. And oh, what a big time hit! Oh, vibe burrowing two bailings there. The, the, oh, the pursuit by the Terran player, not paying off there, forcing a lift off on that third base, looking extremely worrisome. For our Terran player, the Widowmines continuing to do what they can. Two kills, ten kills, sixteen kills on those Widowmines. Scanning, are there more Burrow Bailings, says Av. I'm so worried about this. Fifth base up and running happily for Vibe. I wonder if the Queens were involved in these attacks. I feel like it'd go a little bit better for Vibe, but he's leaving the Queens back to defend that, that natural base in case the drops come in. Once again, Ultralist Cavern on the way for Vibe. It's a Ling, Bling queen thing until the ultras come which is a pretty viable thing pretty viable build if you're a zerg player and if you're at vibes level then hey, it's gonna work out six base on the way from vibe just got to deal with those drops without making a spire and he did he did he has so far i mean obviously he's tacked down some spore crawlers a lot of them which again static defense works thumbs up from falcon paladin he had 70 drones at one point he's down to 67 i don't know if he has lost a bunch he's lost nine which is really acceptable losses against a Terran at this level. Knocking down the rocks, blocking this gold base that he's already spread creep over is Vibe. It's 146 to 129 total supply. Vibe has the lead. He's coming back in again with the Lings and with Banelings. The Widow Mines are burrowing themselves in beautiful positions, though. Just waiting for the Zerg army to come on top of him. Pulling back. No, getting the surround. But Widow Mines firing on everything there. And that's it. A good game out of Ab. And by good game, I mean he leaves the game. Ab has defeated Vibe. Was victorious. Widowmines notwithstanding there. Just too many. Just too many lings and banelings. Two good hits. The burrowed banelings were brilliant out of vibe. That's the best burrowed banelings stuff I've seen probably ever. Uh, outside of the burrowed banelings only. One Trick Wednesday that I did about a month or so ago. That was a lot of fun. But anyway, look, look at the resources lost. I'm curious about this. 217 lings died. 17 banelings died. Uh, but 122 Marines, 8 Widowmines, and 2 Medivacs, which I think were Widowmine friendly fires that Vibe actually instigated. And about 11,000 resources lost for the Terran compared to about 10 for the Zergs. So, I mean, Lings are cheap. You can afford to throw them away to a certain extent. You just can't let the Terran player get a giant, massive army. Because then Lings and Banes really struggle versus that without investor support or other things. Again, he's working on Ultralisks. He has an Ultralisk Cavern. He's got some money saved up to make a couple ultras. That would have been enough. But again, the surround with the lings with that plus two, plus two. And the burled banelings, just that hit on the top of this ramp was amazing. The hit here by the Zelnaga Watchtower just really kept the army of Av down below where he wanted it to be for pretty much the entire game. That first hit really set the tone for our Terran player. And Vibe manages to pull it out. So great job from Vibe. And that's going to be it from me. So this has been Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching.
and you take care of yourself.